Hello everyone, this is Sonu Satyadas. Today we are going to see how we can create and deploy the applications using the AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Before moving to the demo, we need to understand what is Elastic Beanstalk, what is Beanstalk application and then what are the different components uh, of this Beanstalk application. So a Beanstack is a PaaS service that helps us to deploy web applications on the AWS cloud. If you have a .NET, Java, PHP or uh, Docker containerized web applications, you can deploy such web applications with the help of Elastic Beanstack. Elastic Beanstack uses the EC2 instances to run the applications behind the scene but as a user you don't need to create any infrastructure such as virtual networks uh, ec2 instances or storage configurations the elastic beanstack service automatically provision all the required infrastructure such as networking configurations ec2 instances and the uh, S3 storage configurations for you. If you see, when you try to deploy a web application using the Elastic Beanstack, you need to create an application first. An application is acting as a container for our uh, Beanstack. So inside an application, we, we can create environments where we can have multiple EC2 instances with auto scaling group and we can deploy different uh, versions of applications inside the single application by using this environments. Inside this application we also have this application versions means we can have different uh, label iterations of our code that is stored into the S3 bucket. So each version of this application is stored into an S3 bucket. When we deploy the application into the EC2 uh, instance, that means in the environment, we can choose the application version uh, that is available in the versions uh, table. We can also have the saved configurations, means we can have a template of our environment settings configurations that can be used to deploy the Elastic Beanstack uh, environment. In, a, in an Elastic Beanstack application, we can create multiple environments. As you see in this picture, one application ha can have multiple environments and each environment can run different versions of application. For example, the environment one can run the version 1.0 and the environment 2 can run the version 1.5 and each environment uses the EC2 instance for running this application means it uses the EC2 as the compute instance uh, that uses an auto scaling group means if you need to auto scale the applications you can use a auto scaling group which elastically scale the application instances. It then uses a load balancer to uh, provide access to the application's runs in a uh, environment. So those applications may run in different um, uh, EC2 instances and that will provide access through a load balancer. So now we can switch to the AWS portal and then create uh, an elastic bean stack with a simple application. To create the elastic bean stack application, uh, log into the AWS management console with your valid uh, AWS credentials and choose a region where you want to deploy your AWS bean stack. So I'm selecting the location Asia Pacific Mumbai, that is AP South 1. Then I can 
search for the elastic beanstack service here i have already added this elastic beanstack into the favorites section so i can choose the elastic beanstack from there as well so i don't have any pre created or pre deployed beanstack environments or applications so i'm going to create a new application here so when i click on this create application this will ask to create a new application here you can type the name of your application that you want to create and below you can see the configuration settings for your environment so here first i am giving the name of the beanstack application as sample uh, ebs app Then you can specify the key and value for your application tags. So here I am specifying the key as owner and the value as my name. And if you want, you can add more tags. So I just want to skip that and move to the next. So I want to select the platform as .NET Core on Linux. Yes, you can see. We can also deploy the Windows uh, .NET applications, Docker containerized applications, Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, and Tomcat based applications. So here I'm selecting the .NET Core, and then I can select the platform branch. So I'm leaving this default, and the platform version, the latest, that is 2.4.0, is selected. Here we have two options for deploying this uh, application. Either we can deploy a sample application, which can be then uh, deployed or replaced with a, a different application code. Or if you want, you can also upload the application code, means which is the application you want to upload that you can specify here you can specify the version label for the application and the application code uh, zip file can be selected from your local machine or you can specify an s3 url so currently i don't have the application so i don't want to deploy the application which i have so i'll just move to the sample application i select the sample application and then create this application but before creating this application if you want to customize the environment settings such as networking configurations auto scale settings ec2 instance configurations then you can click on this configure more options these configuration settings can even uh, changed or updated after creating the application also so i'll skip this option here and directly move into the create application so let's click on this create application and this will create the application and also inside the application an environment will be created as you can see here the application is created and inside the application it is creating an environment with the name sample ebs app hyphen env so this is the default environment created along with this application we can also create additional environments according to our requirement you can see the application is successfully deployed the environment is now ready to view the deployed application you can click on this url here is the sample application that is deployed in the environment so to view the resources that we have created or to view the events that is executed during the deployment, we can see the events history inside the events uh, configuration or event settings. Here you will be able to see what are the resources created, what are the events executed and so on. So this environment creates an ec2 instance auto scaling group uh, 
uh, and the storage configuration etc so for that let's move to the ec2 configuration or ec2 console where you can see the instances list and you can see an instance running here so this is the ec2 instance deployed automatically by the elastic bean stack and that is running our uh, web application and it also creates some uh, additional resources where you can see here is the security group which is created as part of the elastic beam stack and you can also see an s3 bucket and this s3 bucket is also auto generated when i deployed this application and this bucket contains all these applications configurations suppose if i want to see the application configurations uh, we can move back to the elastic beanstack console where you will be able to see the applications so here you can see there is only one application currently available that is the sample EBS app and inside this we have only one environment available. So let's go inside the application. Inside this application we can see there is only one environment and this is the application URL. So when I click on this it takes me to the application page. You can see the uh, application which is running here. The running version of the application is sample application. And if you want to see what are the available applications that we have, inside this application, we can go to the application versions. So currently we have only the sample application running. That's why we can see the uh, sample application inside the application versions if you are interested to deploy uh, your own custom application you can first upload the application code into the application versions and then from here you can choose the appropriate version that you want to deploy in a particular environment so now we are going to do that one since I have selected the .NET Core as the environment for my uh, environment runtime for my application, I'm going to create a .NET Core MVC application using Visual Studio. So let me open this Visual Studio. And then create a new project. I'm selecting a .NET Core MVC application. So the project template I'm selecting is ASP.NET Core MVC. I can give a name for the project. Sample web or sample MVC app. And then create the project. So my framework I am selecting as .NET 6 or I can select any older version of a .NET Core. So I am selecting the latest .NET 6 and then creating this project. Now the project is ready and you can see the project files. Here I have this controller, home controller. Inside the views, I have the home folder. Inside the home folder, I have this index page. So this is my sample application, which is uh, created using Visual Studio. I'm just running this application locally to check the application is running uh, without any error or not.
Here we can see the application is running in browser without any issues. The welcome page is loaded. So let me stop debugging this application. And now I want to deploy this application to the Elastic Bean stack. For that, we can use uh, a zip and deploy method or we can directly do a one click publish from our Visual Studio itself. To deploy the application from Visual Studio directly, you can install in uh, AWS Toolkit, which is available for Visual Studio. If you install this AWS Toolkit extension, that allow you to uh, create and deploy the AWS applications like uh, uh, AWS Lambda or Elastic Beanstack, etc. So here I have installed this toolkit so that whenever I go to the build menu, I will get an option for publishing this application directly to the Elastic Beanstack. Or you can also go to the Solution Explorer and right click on this project. You will get an option for publish to Elastic Beanstack. So I'm selecting this option and here you will get the options for selecting your credentials and region. So the credentials will be popped up from our local machine credentials. So I have a default profile configured in my machine and I can choose the location. So since my Elastic Beanstack instance is created in uh, Asia Pacific Mumbai, I'm choosing that location. And here I can see the options for creating a new application environment or redeploy to an existing environment. Since I have this application and the environment ready, I want to choose this redeploy option. If I go to this redeploy, I can see my application name and the environment inside this application. So I'm selecting this environment and click on next. Here we can choose the deployment configuration, the build configuration. By default debug is selected. I want to select it as release configuration. Framework is .NET 6. I don't want to configure any other settings. Just click on next. Uh, confirm this uh, settings and then deploy. So this deployment may take a minute. So you can see the status of the deployment in the output window. As you can see, the deployment is happening. Once the deployment is completed, you will be able to browse the new application in the Elastic Pin stack. So currently we are zipping all the deployment files and uh, pushing this code into the S3 bucket and it creates a new version of the application automatically. As you can see, it created a new version of this application as you can see here. This V20221010 is the version uh, of this application. So this information, the deployment is done successfully. Now we can go back to the AWS Beanstack console. Refresh this application versions. You can see the newly deployed application version here. So this is the application which we have uh, published from Visual Studio and it is the zip file. So this zip file is available in our uh, S3 bucket. We can go back to the environments and here we can see the sample Elastic Pin Stack app environment. And let's go to this URL and refresh this page. So when I refresh this, you can see the application is now running from our uh, Elastic Beanstack environment. Now we can see how to create and publish the application using a zip archive. For that, I'm opening my project and making some changes into this existing application. So here I have this application. Inside this application, I'm updating the header. 
So I'm changing this to welcome to elastic bean stack and then saving this changes. Go to the build menu and build the solution to check whether there is any compilation error or not. So I can see the build process is completed. Now I can do a folder publish. For that, I go to the build menu and choose the publish application. From here, I can select the folder publish, choose the folder. Next, I, and I can choose a publish location. I'm selecting the desktop and in desktop, I'm creating a folder test. So I'm going to publish my application into the dist. Sorry, this. I'm going to publish my application into this dist folder. Let's click on publish. The build process started. And once the build is completed, you will get all the compiled files inside the dist folder. You can see the publish is completed. Now we can go back to the dist folder and here we can see all the compiled files. Now we need to zip all these files. For that, I can right click and compress to zip file. So select all the files and uh, compress all these files into a zip archive. So this is now creating the zip file and give a name for this zip file. I'm giving the name as version 1.5 and this is the file I need to upload into the application versions. So I'm going to the Elastic Beanstack application console. Here I can see the application versions currently contains two versions means one is the default application and one is the application version published directly from the Visual Studio. Now I can go to the upload option. So here we have the upload option. Click on that. Specify the version label. So here I'm, you can use any version uh, naming scheme. So I am using just version 1.5 and then give a description if you want so updated header and choose that zip file so here i have this file and then upload it so here So I think I have we already used the 1.5. So I, let me change to version 1.6 and then upload it. So here you can see the version 1.6 is now uploaded and here you can see the uh, zip file. To deploy this version, I can select this version 1.6 and go to the actions menu and choose deploy. Here you can see it is asking us to select the environment where you want to deploy it. So I can choose that environment name from this environment's drop down list and click deploy. Now the deployment is started. We can go to the environments and here you will see the status uh, health status is changed to gray, which means the update is going on. Once the update is completed, it will turn into green. Yes, you can see it is now green. I can click to view this new version of this application running in uh, the Elastic Beanstack. So now I can make some more changes into this application to publish a new version. So I'm going to add a new header below this just this is a test version just save this change and do the publish again i can go to the build menu and choose publish and from here i can click on this publish which will 
overwrite all the files which is existing in the dist folder because I am uh, republishing the new version of this application. The publish is now completed. We can go back to the dist folder. Again, compress all the files. Choose all, all the files. Compress it. And then give a name for it. So I'm giving version 2.5. So this is the new version which I want to upload. So I can go to the Elastic Beanstack application versions and then click on this upload. Specify the version as 2.5 and then give an optional description. And choose the file. Now the new version is uploaded. To deploy this new version, I can select this version 2.5, go to the actions and choose deploy. From here, I'm selecting this environment and then deploy. Let's go to the environment. So you can see the update is now going on. Once the health turned into green, we can browse this application. Yes, it is now updated. I can click on this link to view this updated version. So now we have created and deployed the applications using the zip archive. Inside this application versions, you will be able to see all the versions of this application. Suppose if I want to redeploy the previous version, for example, currently we have this version 2.5 running here and I want to go back to the version 1.6. I can simply select the particular version, go to the actions and then deploy. Select the environment and click on the deploy button. It will now roll back to the previous version of the application. So you can see the update is happening. Once the update is completed, you can go to the uh, website and refresh the page. So let's refresh. You can see the health is now degraded. Let's refresh it and check. Yes, now it is turned into green and now click on this. Yes, you can see the version 1.6. That means the second heading is missing, which means this is the previous version of this application. So you can switch to any version of application for, uh, by using this application versions stored in our S3 bucket. Suppose if I want to build and deploy a new version of application for testing purpose. For example, I have created a new version of the application, but instead of deploying that into the production environment, I want to deploy it into a testing environment or a QA environment and uh, uh, test the application. If the deployment is success, and if the application is uh, executing perfectly, then we can move the application to the production environment. So if, we, if you want to create a testing environment for a uh, beta application or a preview application, we can uh, create additional environments. So for that, first I'm gonna create a beta version of the application. So this is my existing application and I'm going to make some changes inside this. So I'm making this heading to this is a preview version 
of the application and now i can republish this application with the preview label so let's go to the build compile compile the application now the compilation is going on yes build is succeeded i can go to the publish menu choose the publish now we are publishing the application into the same dist folder it overrides all the existing files so i can go back to the dist folder select all the files and then compress to zip and give the name as version maybe 2.7 preview so this is the version i want to deploy into a testing or dev environment for that first we need to upload this application into the application versions so switch to the application versions click on upload and select the version label as 2.7 preview so updated preview version is the description and choose the file so i'm selecting this 2.7 preview and then upload here you can see i have the environment so this is currently the environment where i have my application running you can see this is the version 1.6 of this application so now i want to deploy the preview version into a new environment i don't want to disturb this environment uh, and uh, application so i can create a new environment by clicking on this create a new environment i can choose an environment so elastic beanstack support two types of environment tiers that is web server and worker environment if you are planning to deploy a http based web application then you need to select the web server environment or if you want to create a long running backend uh, or background application you can choose a worker environment that is uh, that can uh, accept or that can receive the uh, messages from the sqs but currently i want to deploy this web application so i choose the web server environment select give a name for this application so because it is inside the same application i can go back to my uh, application and use the same name so here this is the application name i can give the same name for this and then below the environment information so what should be the name of this environment so sample ebs app hyphen env hyphen one is the default value but i want to change it to hyphen dev and what needs to be the domain name for this so i can give sample ebs app hyphen dev check the availability of this yes this domain name is available if you want you can give a description for this environment and here i can choose the managed platform where my environment is still dotnet core on linux leave the other values as it is and application code if you want to start with a sample application you can choose the first option or you can uh, uh, choose an existing version from the application versions list or you can upload your code directly from your local machine or s3 so you can select the existing version since we have already uploaded the preview version 
into the application versions. So I can choose. It's not listing anything here. Okay. So then I will start with a sample application. Later I can deploy the uh, preview version into that. So I will select the sample application and create the environment. You can see the environment is now creating. This is the dev environment. This will create a new Elastic uh, uh, Beanstack environment. Behind the scene, it is going to create a EC2 instance. You can see the EC2 instance is created and it is also creating the load balancers which is required for this application. Now the deployment of the dev environment is completed and you can see the sample application running in this environment. Now I can go to the application versions, choose the preview version and go to the application uh, environment. Means I can go to the actions and select deploy. From this environment, I can choose the dev environment and then deploy. Now, if you go back to the environments, you can see there are two environments. And I, if I go to the dev environment, you can see it is now updating the application version. So currently the sample version, sample application is running and once the updation is completed, it will run the preview version. You can see the update is now completed and the running version you can see it is now 2.7 preview version. If I click on this navigation hyperlink and refresh this, you will see the preview version of the application running from the dev environment. So you can see the URL. It is sample EBS app hyphen DEV. That is the dev environment. And if you go to the production environment or the default environment, you can see the still the older version, version 1.6 is running.